हेलो गाइस होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड दिस इज डॉक्टर विकास साइनिंग इन एंड वेलकम्स यू टू वीपी मंत्रा गाइस द स्कॉलरशिप फॉर डीबीएम दैट इज द डिप्लोमा बैचलर्स एंड मास्टर्स इन फार्मेसी comes with three variants in bharat that is the first one which you gets automatically on the basis of the category that is the scst obc third uh, second one you have which you have to acquire it and the third one is a little bit special one so let's explore out the every aspects of this scholarship program with the help of this video first variant is the automatic one that is the scholarship which you avail on the basis of the category that is if you belong to the sc st or obc category you can apply for the scholarship program for diploma bachelor's and master course if you talk about the diploma and bachelor course the following list of the steps which you have to do the first one is that admission in the college second one applying and registering yourself at the scholarship portal of your state with the help of the office or management of the institute the third one is uploading of the important and significant documents at the scholarship portal with the help of the office staff of the institute the documents which you will require is the first is the caste certificate which is quite obvious the second one is the income certificate this is quite important because the whom whomsoever the person is bearing up your fees in that particular institute must have an annual income of 2.5 lakh or less than it this is actually the bar which has been regularized by the authority or the government the third one is the copy of the bank passbook which you are going to apply in which you are going to get the scholarship the bank passbook is actually very important because few years back the scholarship of the institute institute uh, sorry student comes into the institute's account but uh, currently it directly gets credited into into students account i think uh, yes that's a reason the fourth one is the re receipt of the fees this is important that's why the first step is the college admission the fees receipt is important because on the basis of that your scholarship will be decided next is the aadhar card and uh, the passport size photograph and all these documents must be self attested and that you can have to down up upload at the registration portal uh further the next uh, i will talk about the how much scholarship did you get in credited for the course uh in bharat is actually it is uh, <coughs> been uh, calculated on a gross way means on an average i am going to tell you that you will you can avail the 50% the scholarship of your fees this is actually i am telling on the basis of on average basis average basis because every institute and every state has a diversified and different fee structures and that's why it has been decided on the basis of fee structure that how much scholarship you going to get so for example if your fees uh, structure is around 50000 then you are going to get 26 to 30000 of scholarship in your account and rest you have to pay then if you talk about this category scholarship for master in pharmacy course all the procedure is same only one thing is uh, important that apart from all the document you also have to prove and upload your uh, the b pharma documents that is the mark sheet of a b pharm and to avail the scholarship facility the b for your b pharm graduation must have minimum 50 percentage of the marks this is very actually important and uh, the coverage of the scholarship percentage is on the basis of the fees is around uh, 35 to 50 uh, sorry 50 to 75 percent of the fees this is actually the m farm scholarship now the second variant of the scholarship program is actually the beneficial for uh, it's along with the category student it is also beneficial for the general category students the name of this scholarship is actually c triple s c u means the central sector scheme of scholarship for colleges and universities this C triple S C U program is actually comes under the M H R D that is the Ministry of Human Resource Development. You can check it out the website also. And here are some of the salient features of this scholarship program. The first one, the income certificate which you need to acquire is the consist of the income bar of six lakh. Means the person whomsoever who is bearing up your 
in uh, the fees must have an income of 6 lakh or less than it the second one this scholarship is actually for the meritorious students only I mean this is a tough one means you have you must have at least 80 percent in hsc that is the 12th in order to avail this scholarship the third one is that if this scholarship mhrd has directed to each and every state means every state government has this scholarship facility with different names like for example in Madhya Pradesh it is the Madhya chief minister scholarship program for meritorious students for Maharashtra it is also for chief minister meritorious scholarship facility like that so these are the, these are the some of the feature then next one is the the amount this actually the amount of this scholarship program is actually divided that means in the during the first year you will get 10,000 per year and afterwards you will get 20,000 per year means if you have if you are pursuing bee farm then your first three you will get first three years 10,000 and the last year you will get uh, 20,000 similarly in farm D and M farm also the next silent feature is that if you are belonging to gen, uh, category and you are taking availing this scholarship from on the basis of category then you cannot apply for this scholarship so this is actually this is a scholarship is crafted uh, significantly for the students belonging to general category the next feature is that uh, the documents which you require that is the uh, aadhar card voter id pan card bank passbook your 12th mark sheet and documents mark sheet is very important since it is the only proof which uh, is evidence that you have acquired and you have the you are eligible for this scholarship program all these uh, things you have the similar procedure will be similar as that you have to go to the website do the registration upload the document and show the proof to the institute and you will get the scholarship don't worry uh, i have placed the link of this uh, scholarship program in the description of the video don't forget to check it out because the third variant is the tfw that is the tuition fee waiver this actually this scholarship program is offered by aict that is the all india council of technical education and this program also comes under it actually aict has directed each and every institute to reserve 5 to 10 percent seats of its of its uh, seats percentage for the tfw candidates this is actually means if the institute is having the 50 seats for B farm, then around 5 to 10 seats will be there for TFW that is tuition fee waiver. So you can also avail the benefit of this scholarship. The important eligibility requirements for this scholarship is that the first is the income certificate should be from 2.5 lakh or less than it. This is the bar and uh, the second one is that this is for both the category one and uh, general category. This scholarship program is actually launched because most of uh, many times it happens that uh, most of the candidates cannot uh, provide the evidence of the income certificate of 2.5 lakhs actually. So yeah, they can avail this scholarship facility. The third one is the, that you need all the documents. The most important uh, and one important document that you have to acquire a letter from the gazetted officer like SDM, Tehsildar or executive magistrate there which will prove that you are eligible for this scholarship to avail this scholarship program and this letter should be from his or her letterhead. So this one is also the document. Uh, another one important point is that this is once this uh, scholarship is allotted to particular student then it is not uh, changeable means the scholarship cannot be changed or transferred to another candidate so be careful if you have availed this scholarship and you have acquired this scholarship then don't cancel out otherwise it will be problematic for somebody else so that's all so guys this is, these are the three uh, variants of the scholarship program for diploma bachelor and masters in pharmacy and if you this if you find this video fruitful so please do like and share and don't forget to press the subscribe <coughs> and hitting the bell icon and uh, here i sign off see you in the next video stay motivated work smarter good luck <laughs>